to shoot one in the face if it comes out. Trapping. Well, guys, welcome to episode three. I'm hoping episode three is going to be a lot more interesting than the first two. Uh, this one, I'm going to be doing some water trapping. It'll be my first time doing it, uh, so I'm very interested. So, pretty cool if you follow this creek all the way down. Um, there's a bridge, a public bridge, and I was setting it. And while I was setting it, the guy came up to me. He said, Hey, are you trapping? And I said, Yes, sir, I am. He said, Well, I live right here. He started describing the area to me. He said, you ought to go down to that Y in the stream. He's like, because I got my chicken coop near there and I had a mink kill seven of them. He caught one in a cage trap. So there's mink down here and they're giving them issues. So I'm gonna go down here and try to find the holes and see if we can't get lucky. So stay tuned, let's see. Well guys, it's check day one on my water line and I'm looking at my water trap and I can see that I caught my very first muskrat. So I'm pretty cool, pretty stoked about that. So I'm gonna get this camera on, get down in the water and show you what it looks like. It looks huge, like a monster, but I have no idea. I have no idea their size, so you tell me. All right, stay tuned. First one. I don't know. It's like a big one to me. You guys tell me. I don't know what the rules are with these things, but decent size. All right. Well guys, wish me luck. I am trying to do a little like stream hunting for ducks. Um, I normally see them down here, so I'm gonna go down and just try to try to get a duck. Never got a duck before. Had a duck hunt lined up and a goose hunt earlier this year, and then the guy backed out on me, and I kind of needed him to be able to do it. So um, I'm a little bummed, but hey, you never know. God always blesses somebody to get out there and work around on these creek banks and try to find some ducks. So stay tuned. stream watching for ducks to come and I'm gonna try to get a duck um, just one I just want one I get too awesome but you know one is all I'm really looking for I seen a muskrat while well, I was walking around too check some other areas but uh, it's the day before rifle for deer in Pennsylvania there's a lot of eyeballs out a lot of people doing stuff a lot of people curious to why I have my truck parked here but uh yeah, it's just a, it's a good fishing spot, um, but that's about it, and a good duck spot, I guess. But uh, we'll see. I'm watching down, watching upstream, and uh, I've seen many ducks come right past me while I'm fishing. I'd love to get a mallard, but uh, I'm okay with just about anything. So yeah, let's give it a go. Let's just get it. Oh God, what that is? Well, I don't know how much of that you saw, but hey, I got a duck. This duck's gonna feed my family. Pretty stoked about that, you know. So, cool. Opening day of deer season in PA. I'm going for a doe. Brooke, what are you going for? Deer. <laughs> a buck. A buck. Yeah. Today we're going to find out who's the most redneck, right? I'm rednecker. Rednecker -er -er than you. Stay tuned. Let's see if it gets interesting. Oh, I think I'm 
I missed. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm looking at her. I'm looking at her. Hold on. We did it. I didn't record too much afterwards because my first shot was a terrible shot. So I had to go up and finish it. But we got a little, uh, little what I thought was a doe, but it ended up being a button buck. But hey, it's meat for the family. It's meat for Brooke. She needs meat. She's trying to grow big and strong. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you further on down the line. I release many wild animals, you're one of the worst. <laughs> All right guys, check day two. It is the first day of rifle, and I'm out here with uh, p -Rez. What did we just catch, B-Rez? A muskrat. A muskrat. So we caught a muskrat in the same place. We caught one yesterday. I'm about to walk out in the water and go get it, but it seems like it's a good spot. So I think I'm going to set a couple more traps here just to try to get them all. So stay tuned. Who's like what? An otter? They're similar to otters, but it's not an otter. That is a muskrat. I didn't get the same kind of catch on this one. I uh, did on the other one. This one got its whole body. Made it most of the way into that trap. It looked to be about the same size though. Yeah, it went this far, so we're gonna reset it. Weird, huh? Yeah. And different. From further away, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Just, I just reset the same trap, and I'm gonna set uh, maybe some more tomorrow. So that way we can keep moving on the line. Cause we gotta get a lot of people at the house because it's first day of rifle, and I don't waste too much time. Plus, I made a muddy mess over there, and I can't see. So, what do we get, Presley? A muskrat. All right, hold it up. Let's see it. Like Grab it by the tail. Uh. Hey, things as big as you. All right, you want to check some more? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, guys, they we're going to wrap up this episode, and I'm going to give you some clarifications of what happened in this episode. Uh, number one, my GoPro gave me a lot of issues. Uh, I've been getting corrupted files, and I had to reformat my SD card for my GoPro, and I lost a little bit of footage. Um, for some reason, it was taking really short videos. Uh, it wasn't, you know, staying in touch with what I was doing. So, at the very beginning of the episode, you hear a bunch of coyotes howling. That was my father and I while we were bear hunting, and that's all we saw was a bunch of coyotes. So, maybe I might go up to that game lands and trap. Uh, number two, you see me go on a duck hunt, and then my GoPro messed up, and I didn't get any of the shot on camera. I ended up shooting a red-headed merganser. Uh, that was my very first duck ever. If you know anything about ducks, that is like the duck that people consider unedible. Um, but what I did was I ended up soaking it in salt water for, uh, I think it was like four hours, and used it as taco meat, and it was very good in that form. So um, I'm not a big fan of uh, when people say, oh, you can't eat that. I like to find out for myself, and it was okay. So if I ever shoot a merganser again, that's you know, I'll do something similar to that. Um, the deer hunt you saw that but i had a check day three a check day four and a check day five on check day three i caught another muskrat in the same exact trap and then the next day i i set a trap a new trap there so i had two new traps and um, i ended up catching a double and that was it i haven't caught anything since so i ended up catching three more muskrats in that same place um also towards the beginning of this video I mentioned a man that was having an issue with animals killing his chickens well just this morning that same man seen me checking traps and said hey um, I had two more chickens die last night some climbed into the coop and got them 
he said so whatever you're doing is not working and I said well you know I don't I don't really know what's getting in there and he said well I give you permission get on here get on top of my land and uh, if you have to set you know traps right around the chicken coop and get it so go after it so in episode four what I'm going to be working on hopefully is uh, me going after whatever is trying to get into this chicken coop so it could be a whole manner of things I haven't even walked over and looked yet so I'm gonna work on doing that today after work um, and I'm gonna try to do a whole episode on what's been killing these chickens so so far that's nine chickens and it could be in numerous animals but uh, normally it's just one nuisance one so hey you know it's a little bit out of my way to walk over and check that area I'm probably gonna pull the rest of my water traps and just focus on getting this animal out of this chicken coop for this guy. Um, it's still rifle season in PA, so I'm not setting my big, huge coyote line yet. So this is kind of like a nice little thing to do. Plus, if I end up catching this animal, or at least put in the work to figure out what's going on for this guy, that might open up more door for more permission. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what's going on in, on your trap line or what you see, what you don't like, or any questions. Let's keep this trapper community going. Uh, God bless, tight chains, and I'll see you all next time.